How are you guys doing? Ah, ah, drunk and hung over. It's 421. Jesus Christ. Ah, what do you guys want to hear? Uh, jokes? Jokes? We hear some, some dick jokes. Dick jokes. Some dick jokes. Some uh, uh, abortion joke. Some zebra joke. No. Uh, zebra joke. No. Man, did you know that zebras actually perform abortions through forced copulation? <laughs> so that's what's black, white, and all over. It's all three. It's a dick zebra abortion joke. Oh, okay. This is the never tell that joke again. Thanks, man. Sweet. Right on. Glad you guys like that. So, uh, what else would you guys want to say? A anal sex? What a coincidence! I have some material. I uh, so the first time I had anal sex. Now, here's the thing. I didn't. This is I mean, this was a young woman, uh, but I'm a giver, right? So like, <laughs> uh, yeah. if some young lady asks me to do that special thing, thank you, sir. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say no, right? Great. So the first time I go home with a young lady and she asks me to fuck her in the ass and she happens to own a ferret. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever smelled a ferret, but ferrets have a very distinctive stench. And it burns in there a little bit. And so the second time, I swear to Christ, the second time I go home with a young lady and she also owns a ferret. At this point, I'm like, you know, I don't notice it, but there's some weird Pavlovian response thing being wired in. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure it kind of... Six. Oh, thank you. Uh, so the third time, now I haven't been with that many women, but out of that number, there's a small percentage of those who have asked me to fuck them in the ass. And every single one of those women has owned a ferret. Every single one of those women have owned a ferret. So, so after the fourth time, now there's some weird, like, it's just, it, I, I, this is like the secret. I'm creating my own reality. I just smell the ferret. I'm like, I'm getting butt sex tonight. I sure hope that ferret's not a roommate's pet, because that's non-consensual, sir. Uh, oh, rape jokes. Got it. All right, so uh, rape's never funny. Gay rape sometimes. But it's never good when, 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 when the, the lady, you know, it, she laughs, but then later she tells you, tells her friends that she didn't want to laugh, and you got her drunk and made her laugh, and you know, just it would never uh, The thing about the ferrets, yeah, it would suck. I'm sorry, guys, to talk about anal sex in front of you know a gay bar. Thanks. Um, but I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say is holy crap. I'm just I was trying to explain to my ex girlfriend why I had a boner in a pet store because I'm just smell is the most closely associated sense with memory, and you smell that ferret, and it goes right to the... I'm just saying! I don't, Jesus, this is awesome. This is gas money. Thanks, guys. Um, it's wet on this floor. I'm gonna mop it up a little bit. It's a bestiality, so uh, I got a... I had a... Yeah, let's go straight to that. Um, I had this weird experience. I was fucking my ex-wife, right? I'm fucking my ex-wife, and it's a domestic setting. I'm we're on the kitchen table, kind of going at it, and and, and, and and that's the best way to walk an audience. Show them your ass, and then peace. Never done that before. Told a lot of offensive humor, but that was the best way to make someone get the fuck out of their seat. Here's the point. Uh, I'm fucking my ex-wife, and our dog runs up. Our little Aussie Shepherd runs up and licks me directly in the asshole. Directly in the asshole. Now, I stopped the dog. I mean, I turned around, and I stopped the dog, like, and of course. But I know that, physiologically speaking, the pleasure center of our brain engages before any logic or reason or societal convention. So for a second, for, for the time it took one synapse to fire from, you know, one neuron to the next, it was kind of like, mm -hmm. I mean, I've been in orgies. That wasn't the first unexpected tongue I've ever had in my ass, and it's not an unpleasant feeling. Come on, but but I noticed it. I fucking noticed it. That little half second registered somewhere, and I have to wear that like a badge of shame. 
I feel like I, sh I should have to register somewhere. Like, I I started staying like 100 yards away from dog parks, but that's just because I hate jail. I don't know. I, so anyway, so what I'm trying to say, sir, is when, when I did have that experience in the uh, <coughs> pet store, where I smelled a ferret, and I got a boner, and the chick asked, do you have a thing for bestiality? I probably shouldn't have said, yeah, there was this short period. There was this really short period. It was weird. I'm sorry. I apologized for it. I looked for a website. I haven't been anywhere near dogs since. I swear to Christ, I'm not a freak. Thanks, guys. He's naked. <laughs> well, that's worth the goddamn price of admission right there, motherfuckers. <laughs>